The Great Surge brought to you by Digikey and Fruit. Lady Ada uses her powers of engineering and smarts to find the things that you need on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what is this week's Great Surge? Okay, this week's Great Surge is um, for a kit maker who contacted us and uh, they're picking out parts for their kit and they wanted some advice just to make sure that they picked out the right part. Um, so I'm going to double check their work for them. And that's, that's something that I do for people in the community who are making kits. They're just like, I think this is a good part. And uh, this kit maker was looking for a speaker. And they had a couple specifications that were important. Uh, first, it's an uh, 8 ohm speaker because the audio driver that they have for this kit can only drive 8 ohms. Quarter watt, so it can be quarter watt or higher. Um, but it can't be less or the speaker could get blown out. Um, the speaker has to be about two inches diameter and round. It doesn't have to be panel mount and um, the kit you're going to hand solder to it so it's okay if it's not um, PC pin. They didn't really care too much what the material the speaker was made out of, um, but they did want to make sure that the audio frequency uh, was responsive around 600 to 1000 hertz because that's they're making these audio effects and that's the frequency, the, the main frequency that sounds that the sounds are coming out. Um, so uh, they sent me a couple options and I was like, well, I'll do a great search and I'll just verify that, you know, what you're looking for is a, a good kit. Especially also, you know, of course, this is a low cost kit, um, well, not low cost, but it's, you know, they want to keep it affordable. Um, and so they basically want the you know, least expensive, good quality speaker. Uh, you can spend a huge amount of money on speakers and speaker systems. But uh, what can they get that's going to be um, in stock, available and affordable? So let's go to the computer. Uh, this is about that lunar eclipse. Uh, check that out. And then this is, uh, if you're interested in the New Jersey jewelry show, that's that too. Oh, so let's go to, hold on. I'm, I'm using Chrome now. I'm trying to move over from Firefox to Chrome. So I'm still learning the browser. Okay, so we're gonna look for a speaker. And uh, there's a whole category for speakers. So that's great. Um, DigiKey stocks about 3,000 speakers. So there's a lot, but not so many that I don't think we're going to be able to get them. Um, as usual, uh, because we're not looking for a replacement part, we're looking for a kit. We want to make sure that the part is active and available. Um, we're also going to go for uh, normally stocking. Um, so, you know, parts that are usually available, even if it's not available today, it might be fine because they're, they're still designing the kit. Maybe by the time they're ready to purchase all the parts, it'll be there. Um, I mentioned again, the impedance. Uh, so, you know, they said eight ohms, but I think usually, you know, you can go from about six to 12 ohms. So I'm gonna use the uh, ranging uh, selector. Um, I mean, I, um, you know, most speakers are going to be around eight ohms if I pick those values, but um, you know, in case that there's some good options, a little bit around eight ohms. Um, next up, uh, I want it to be round, but it's okay if it's in a frame. So I'm going to just say round, round plus frame. I don't want square, or oval, or octagon. Uh, for the size, they wanted it to be about uh, two inches in diameter. So if we go down to size and dimension, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, plus or minus a little bit. So I'm going to say maybe 1.7 up to about 2.5 inch diameter. And then, you know, I can, I can see what's available. So already we've like really done a good job of, of reducing the, uh, the number from, you know, whatever 3000 it was down to about 85. Um, next up is the power rating. So again, uh, the audio output circuit for their kit is about a quarter watt. Um, you know, of course you can always connect a bigger speaker, but you're not gonna be able to drive it very well, so it's not gonna sound great. So I think I'm gonna go for about one watt to about a quarter watt. Um, again, you don't wanna go below the rating because uh, then you could blow out the speaker. So it's always, better, it's always okay to be a little bit higher. Um, same with uh, Im impedance. It's like you can drive a circuit for eight ohm speakers with 16 ohms, it just won't be as loud. Um, what you can't do is connect a four ohm speaker to an eight ohm speaker circuit because it'll, um, it'll damage or blow out, you know, the, the driver because it'll be trying to drive the speaker and it won't be able to drive load into the impedance. I mean, most circuits have some protection, but it's still, 
is still pretty risky. Okay, so now we're down to about uh, 40 options. Um, all of are looking pretty good. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is, um, you know, first off, they did want something affordable. So I'm going to look at prices at around 250 pieces because that's about how many kits they're going to, you know, I, I tend to make about 250 kits at a time. Um, they're probably going to start with about that number because that's where you can get good um, pricing. So there's a couple of good options. Um, you know, paper speakers, plastic speakers, um, all these are good. Um, you know, these speakers, uh, this one, I think, you can look at the data sheet. It's got a bit of a lip, which could make it easy to mount into a PCB, and then, you know, it's, it's got this nice uh, big horn on it. Um, let's go back. You know, one thing is, is that as you know, the, the speakers that are going to be less than two dollars, you know, you're not going to get um, great frequency response. Um, so these go, you know, about 450 to four kilohertz. So they can do, you know, <coughs> simple um, audio effects, some simple music. You're not going to get high fidelity, but it's like if you just want a little enunciator type circuit there, um, that's fine. She uh, did want something that was. Um, you know, a low, you know, having the lower frequency uh, range available. So these 500s might be a little bit too high, and this 600 is definitely too high. So I think, you know, these first few aren't too bad. What I would do is, and what I always recommend when I've had to do projects with speakers, because, you know, you, there's specification, but until you really hear it, you know, you don't know um, how your audio clips are going to be affected by the speaker size and make and, and the, the sound pressure level. Um, I would actually just get one of each of these because they're all in stock and they all, they all have plenty of availability. So I'd probably get like the first five um, from this list in price and then um, just connect them all to the circuit and then, you know, maybe A, B test them really quickly, have two going and then, you know, switch them power, you know, switch the, the, the speaker from one to the other. And then you can really quickly tell, like, ah, this one just has a better sound. That's, there's really no other way I found to really um, uh, be able to, to, to test speakers. I mean, the, once you get the basic specifications, um, that's what I recommend. So there's, there's two here. Uh, both are 8 ohms. Uh, one is a quarter watt and one is a half watt. Um, but all these are, you know, well within range. So... Um, I think this one would be what I would start with. Start, you know, try this one first and see if it sounds good enough and uh, just, you know, buy one of each, get a little sample set. And then the one, um, you know, maybe have two alternatives ready in case one isn't available. Uh, you know, if you can make your cutout so you can fit one or the other. It's another good thing about settling on one size and 100 millimeter slash two inches is pretty common. Uh, so this speaker would be a good one to start with for this kit design. That's a great charge.